I was starting from a point where I was talking about the things that people always talk about with the Cold War at home. Uh, Joseph McCarthy, the uh, House Un-American Activities Committee going after people in Hollywood. Also atomic fear, the idea that at any moment people could be uh, literally atomized by the atom bomb. And then I started really trying to be more methodical about teaching the, the subject and trying to bring in some of the primary sources, visual primary sources and sound uh, related sources from the time. I bring in the film that was shown to school children in the 1950s, Duck and Cover. And then we talk about what they think about it. What did they think students made of that? What did parents make of it? Did they truly believe that if you ducked under your desk you would be safe? How much of these types of activities of reassurance uh, were based on sound principles such as you truly can survive versus you can check your fear. The second theme that we look at is patriotism, um, particularly things like pageantry and um, trying to get a certain um, visible response from people that shows um, unity. I like to use a cartoon called Make Mind Freedom from 1948. Uh, it was done very much in the vein of a Warner Brothers uh, or Looney Tunes cartoon from the time period. It has characters that are very reminiscent of Elmer Fudd. Um, he's the voice of reason in this particular little tale. And I show this because it connects very well with that third theme when we get to McCarthy, uh, which is um, the search for loyalty. That in and among us might be a communist at any time. We talk about that mindset and then we use that to set up McCarthy and we talk more specifically about him.